Right, Kimmy Brown live in Lodi giving one local shop a helping hand. Good morning. Good morning. So they say a clock is right at least two times a day. What do you do if you have an entire store full of them and especially some that aren't as easy to change? And so let's start with this grandfather clock over here. We're at a house of clocks here in a downtown Lodi and this one is uh, from the 1790s, about 225 years old or so. And if you look inside here at the inner workings and you got to be very gentle. This looks a little this is intimidating. Yeah, so a if people bit. have grandfather clocks at home, how do they change the time? If the clock has a pendulum, we usually recommend people just stop it for an hour. Okay. You could stop the pendulum, set your oven timer, set your timer on your phone, start it back up when it goes off, and you've let time catch up to the clock instead of the opposite. Right. So we don't know if they're until we see the clock how to, how exactly to do it. Yeah. That's the best way for sure. The grandfather clocks must be the most annoying ones. And you can see that we already have people that are working on doing this right now. These must be the most annoying because they're very loud on the hour. Yes. And so you want to make sure that they're all sort of around the same time. Right. So do you just do them all at the same time to try and make sure that they all ding at the same time? Right. Well, we try to set them. They end up getting set off at different yeah. times because people want to hear them. So we've, we're always moving the hands ahead to let them hear them. For the other clocks, do you really care about the time? Because, I, like I said, at least two times during the day, someone's going to walk in here and the clock is going to be right. Not so much with the battery clocks. We don't have all of them set running. It would just, there's no need for that. Yeah, and it'd be too, it'd be too much work for you on days right. like today. But all the mechanical clocks we run, we test out, we make sure that they're accurate, we make sure that everything works the way it's supposed to before the, our customers buy them. Yeah. Now, how good are you at remembering daylight savings time? Uh, we get a lot of calls the week before. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Yeah. People who need help with yeah. the clocks. Yes. Okay, and so these grandfather clocks now, they're going to be set. They'll be good to go. If someone comes in, though, you might change the time on them oh, sure. so that they could be able to see that it works. A week from now, they'll all be at different times. Uh, how annoying is that? Tell the truth. It's okay. <laughs> you probably don't even hear it anymore. I was telling them my grandparents have a grandfather clock, and I don't even hear it anymore when I'm over there. Um, and some of these high tech ones, too, now you can put in times that you don't want them to go off, like at nighttime. Before, uh, back in the day, you couldn't really do that unless you stopped the pendulum, right? Which, well, then you get the wrong time. No, you had to actually put, silence it if there's a silent lever on the clock. Okay, you would turn but it I'm off guessing this one that's 225 it. years old, does that have nope. a silencer lever? Nope, that was yeah. made back in the days when there was one clock in the whole house right. and you had to hear it at upstairs and downstairs. You had no and, choice. Yeah. I am so glad that we do not have that anymore. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but my oven and my microwave, Still at the wrong time. <laughs> did you guys change it yet? Sure did. Yeah. Sure uh, did. Responsible citizens. I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'll just wait. To, I'll just wait for another six months, and then it'll be right. Right? That's what I used to do. But you know, I'm always late to everything, so I'm like, I better take care of this.